Hey there everybody, welcome back to Paper Mario Color Splash. This is Spiraling Helix. Last time we started infiltrating into Fort Cobalt to find the big blue paint star. And we ran into this cafe of fire breathing shy guys and some special operatives. Well, let's continue deeper into the facility. Don't worry, we will explore more of this room. There is another exit. But this room is so much better. We have an exercise room! A gym room! Let's... Why are the toads working here? With... The... Shy guys! Why would you do this? Can't ya see we're training here? What? I guess we're into a fight? Okay, we don't have to fight the toads, that's good. We have a red whistle sniffet. This is a very unique enemy in that it only appears in this room, in the game. You can't even refight them. There are no enemy cards of the red whistle sniffets, which is quite helpful, actually. So I'm just gonna use a line jump and an iron jump to finish off whoever survives. Oh, whoa, bam, 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 bam. Awesome! Line jumps are so strong. Now, the red whistle sniffets are surprisingly tough, though, so keep an eye out for them. 705,683, 705,684, 705,684, just 294,315 more squats until I hit a million. That's not too bad. Eh. Oh, Mario. This training is really hard. My glutes are starting to crease. Toad number five of the Blue Rescue Squad reporting for duty. Bye bye bye. Yes, we know you are going back to Port Prisma. Look at him squat away. I could, I could not do that. Can't you see we're training here? Yes, and I did also see in the corner of my screen one shy guy falling over. Hmm, the front line seems a little risky. Yes. So, the blue whistle sniff a bit smarter than the red one, however it is literally just the first one that stays in the front. Now, I'm deliberately only going to do one attack. As you will soon see... Whistle sniffets can be quite scary if you don't kill them. So, you enemy, for a start, we got a boomerang, bro. We will see more of them much later. Paragoombas, I think they're new as... Surely we've seen a Paragoomba before. And... Spike. Yeah, we've seen spikes. So here is my plan. I'm gonna use a pal. Because I have four of them. I have a lot of pals. Ah, I only got the first track. I feel so dumb. Of course the power's not going to affect the parrot Goomba. Well, at least the boomerang bro is not gonna harm us. So a big iron jump. Might just finish him off. Here we go. A bam, bam, bam. Yeah! Perfect bonus. Took multiple turns, but I still got it. Are you Mario? To do some talking with me? Look at Huey! What are you doing? Phew! I'm ready to call it quits! Toad number six of the Blue Rescue Squad reporting for duty. This is a bit. I'm not used to exercise. Woo, that was a good workout. Been a while since I got my paint pumping like that. Uh, come on, Huey, you, you were just floating back and forth. Well, got one more left. Can't you see we're training here? Yeah, they say the same thing, regardless of what you do, and he's just gonna instantly run to the back. 
But I like seeing... I like seeing the different enemies. So, I'm gonna do the same thing as last time, and let the whistle sniff it do what he wants. Ooh! Okay, actually... Not what I expected. So I'm gonna use one of these. And... I guess... Why do I have you? I may as well use you. And... A uh, spin jump. Okay. Now, I'm gonna use a tail. Tails are actually very effective on the spikes. As you will soon see. And the red shy guy. Cause... Eh, I have it. <laughs> Interesting how I put the tail on there. That was a bad spin jump. That was a poorly timed um thing. My plan did not work. There's no point trying it again because the second spike doesn't have a thing ready. And I believe the second attack will target. Yeah, the first one. Um. Heal. And a knee hammer. <laughs> this this music is so silly when you're low on health. Ah, that's better. Wait, what do spikes do if they're not holding up a thing? They still spit at you, don't they? They just don't block your jumps. No, never mind. They jump. So the tail would work on the goom on the power goomba there. Oh my goodness! Can you? I've had enough of this. Just, just die. A bam, bam, bam. How many spikes did we kill there? No! You survived! The green ones are stronger? Hold on. Different... Hold on. Are you telling me that... Different coloured Shy Guys and Sniffets have different health? What? Ah, oh, that, that did not do what I thought it would. Oh well. <laughs> that... Thankfully targeted the other enemy. I did not know that though. And I already have both of them in the museum. Yay, I'll use the sniffers. Uh, I mean the spikes later. Boom! And I stick the landing. All this training has really helped my core stability. I'm totally ripped. I'm crazy cut. I'm straight up shredded. Which scares me because I'm paper. Turn number seven of the blue rescue blah, 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 blah. We got it. Now if I open up these lockers, we will find a card I don't want. A card I definitely don't want. And no surprise that the spike helmet is there. I do not need those cards. Well if I open up this locker I painted in earlier, we have a pipe that leads to an interesting room. Every day. From dawn to dusk, it's just training, training, and more training. Everyone else was getting ripped, and I didn't like the sound of that, so I ran, and now I'm stuck here. Yes, getting ripped is not really something that Paper wants. Well, now if we talk to him, every day, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I totally tried that. Guess I hadn't blasted my core hard enough to have the strength. Oh well, thanks Mario. Toad number 21 of the Blue Rescue Squad for Party Forward Unit! 21. Oh, we got a lot of blue toads here. And that leads back to the entrance. A nice little shortcut to skip the fence section, I guess. And any enemies in between. But we still have a whole room to explore, so let's... Explore. Here we go. Wham! What are you looking at, you big nose? You wanna go? Is Sniffers looking in an interesting direction. The Sniffer tripped. Um, I feel bad about this Sniffer. 
I'm gonna defeat this Sniffet with nothing but enemy cards. Don't worry, I have a reason for this. Oh, he, he attacked! Okay, um, sorry, I was being quiet because I didn't know what would happen now. I've always killed him in one turn. I didn't think this one attacked. Also, I think he might have interesting dialogue on screen, but I'm not looking at that screen. But there he goes. <laughs> the spike, the spike did it. Ow, you're really strong. I disguised myself as a sniffer to infiltrate the enemy ranks, but my mask was so tight I couldn't see anything. Sorry for calling you big noise. Toe number three of Blue Rescue Squad. We got it. It's another toe down. Now, I am going to jump up here because I, s I am going to jump down there at the end because it seems like I'm going to take a circular route over here and I need to attack you. There was a white spot on the ground where you were standing. You need to die. You have friends. Oh. <laughs> Should have expected that. Well, I've held on to the blaze hammers long enough and I've wasted the last one, so I want to use this one effectively. Ah! Didn't get the excellent. Blaze hammers are so strong, man. They're so good. They hold up even to, I guess, e camera. They hold up, well, even against the big hammer cards. Well, with that, perfect bonus. I killed a shy guy. And a sniffer. And I got paint. Also, I, it's just coins, really. Well, seems like we've got some interesting things over here. I can hammer you out. Oh, two more. Oh, we got a, a lot more. Oh, still got another one. We all snuck into the ducts as a team and we got stuck there, also as a team. I'm the last one in case you were wondering. We are Blue Rescue Toads 8 through 17. Since I've been separated from the yep, yeah, got it. Uh, but wait, there's more. Bad choice, bad choice. I'd rather take the damage than actually, why, why did I, I hit the wrong button? No. Um, well, we got the black shy guy again from the pirate ship, the ninja is back. And, of course, it, yes again, there are many cards, but why don't I show off a new thing? The turnip. What are you, what's the turnip actually gonna do? I have no idea, does it crush you? No, it completely... Completely. It completely slices it to shreds! Who knew turnips were so deadly? Anyway, um, I just mashed the A button there like I recommend with most of the things to get the excellent. No, I didn't want to collect that. Die. Die. Those two shy guys are actually really tricky because those two, that's where the black shy guy comes in, the ninja. You, like, you hit those two and of course they die instantly, but there's a toad there. Whoa! I'm just gonna show off this fight. I'm sure you are, but yes, yes, I am definitely showing off this fight. Okay, um. Shoot, did I use up my spin jump? I did. Okay, I have to use an iron jump on you then. I was about to use a hop slipper, so. Iron jump because you're a spike helmet. Iron jump because that'll get rid of your metal coating. Just like the silver shy guy, any metal cards, which is effectively hell hammers, iron jump, spin jump, all that stuff. That's how you take off the wrapper. 
However, you may have noticed that sort of started peeling off as I jumped on a more Look at those hammer scraps and money! I mean, not that I care about the money, but look at those hammer scraps! That went up a considerable amount. I feel like we're actually going really well. Oh, I don't want that. We're going quite well with our max paint levels. I feel like I'm higher than normal, in fact. Anyway, let's pull up this guy. Maybe if I lie really still, he won't see me. I should probably stop talking too. Ah, whatever. Toad number 20 of the Blue Rescue Squad reporting for you Toad! Since I've been separated, yes, we've got it. And I believe that is every member of the Blue Rescue Squad retrieved. And this comes to the point where I kind of... I've been stuck here for a long time before. In fact, I've got stuck here and right at the entrance. I'll meet you back at the entrance to tell my story. So, back here at the entrance, I mentioned- Oh, hey, you're still alive? I mentioned that I got stuck here before. For a long time. Well, there's a reason why that shy guy was still alive. For you see, I did what I just did there. Killed the shy guy, came here, and I got stuck. I didn't know what to do. Now, before, I obviously knocked down this fence pretty darn quick. But what I ended up doing was not looking up a guide. Actually, I re-entered level and failed to first strike the shy guy, which put me in a fight. When you're in a fight with that shy guy, I believe this fence panel is easily shown to be weak. So that was the first point I got stuck in this level. The second point is where we are at now, actually. I had no clue what to do. At all. I think I just spent a few days before coming back to the game and figuring out, oh, that's the way forward, okay. But sadly, I could not find a way up through the door. And with that, there's only one thing that's actually left. And that's standing right here. Yes, that lines up to form a cutout. It's probably one of the hardest to find cutouts in the game, in my opinion. Definitely the hardest one that's actually required. That or I feel stupid. But as you can see, that has created a path forward. And if we head in here, we will find the secret entrance. Oh, we have a big room. We have a save block. I am definitely saving. And you know what that means, guys. The boss fight is approaching us. There is no music. Of course there's a boss fight. So with that guys, yeah I know this is a long level, but I'll see you all next time where we actually obtain the big blue paint star. Provided shenanigans don't stop me any further. I promise they won't. Oh well this has been Spiraling Helix. See you all next time everybody. Bye bye.